different time zone but um i would say right now three full days because it's so early i woke up really early today too five o'clock and i went to bed late so that's interesting um as you saw we're just doing the final touches we're getting in the final touches um cleaning wiping down Everything in this corner is it. That's it. And my desk and then my clothes, which I've tried to keep as much as I can, but I'm just gonna like throw those on top. Um, I got my little makeshift bed going on. This sheet is not gonna go with me. I'm just gonna take the mattress. What is that thing called? I don't know what it's called, but um, the, I don't know. Um, and then my fitted sheet, I'm not going to take the loose one. Um, and so I'm just washing those and I'm going to pack those away. Um, but anyway, I'm so excited. The closer and closer, I'm kind of getting a little bit of headache. So I'm blinking all crazy. Probably because I haven't eaten. Anyways, um... I what was I, oh I'm just like getting in a port bleach too wasn't the best idea but gotta clean gotta wipe down um of course the closer and closer I get I'm just getting more excited excited and um it's like low-key unbelievable just a little bit like it's actually here like I did this you did this Victor oh my god Yeah, that's it. That's all I have right now. You no, know, y'all are probably. Hello. Hello. got the heaviest thing down the stairs which was my ottoman um 
I don't know how I'm going to carry that in. But I got that down the stairs. So this is literally my last like big, big item. And we're going to, um, hello, whoa. We're going to um, break it down. We're just going to take the legs off, fortunately. I'm really consistent on YouTube and I'm gonna buy the camera that she has. I really like it. Mm -hmm. She's like, no, buy it now. Okay, Randy. <laughs> That's the type of stuff that I do. Keep holding off on stuff. Dear Lord, yes. thank you so much for this present moment. Thank you for a beautiful, just intimate um, space that we shared tonight yes. to amplify who you are in each of our lives and what you are doing in each of our lives. And the impact mm -hmm. that that will make in other yes. people's lives, your children's lives, mm -hmm. um, the world abroad. This is a global kind of impact yeah. that yes. you know we are making. So we are aware of that and we honor that. We honor who you are in your eyes and we will continue to move forward in that light. Yeah. And we just pray that you cover each and every one of us on our paths yes. and that you Fully equip us with everything that we need in order to be successful, yes. um, in order to be confident and yes. courageous, yes. And in order to um, just reach the absolute highest timeline that you have for us. Yes. Just keep us disciplined, keep, mm -hmm. keep us aligned, keep us grounded in mm -hmm. you, and keep us um, just encouraged and motivated as we go through the ups and downs of, of life, you yeah. know, and that we allow the storms to teach
teachers and bless us and to propel us forward on our path. And we just ask that you um, bless Caroline as she is entering a new realm and yes. a new um, space and just complete new identity as yeah. you know, a solo, independent, yeah. you know, woman in her own space. That is such a level up and so you know, so inspiring. And I just pray that her journey um, is one that is beautiful and magnetic and you know mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. that she's able to um, cultivate mm -hmm. whatever she needs um, in mm -hmm. order to fully ascend into what you have for her mm -hmm. and that she's able to um, be transparent and vulnerable and share her light and be a blessing to others because she does possess something that is special and rare and just continue to let her see that um, and to discover more of that and to like dive deeper into that. Yes. And we pray for Tyson mm -hmm. that, you know, he, his anointing that he feels and that he knows that is just by you, from you and in him, let that just radiate yes. and let that um, keep him empowered and anchored in his mission and what he has come to fully understand and that he's able to touch, you know, the lives that you have him, that you have already aligned for him yeah. to do so. Mm -hmm. um, and that you just keep him steady on his yes, you know, health, health journey and yes, just, yes. just keep, keep, him, keep balanced. Mm -hmm. him balanced, yes, and praying for me that I just continue um, to radiate my light and be, um, be a vessel yeah. for your glory and that you get the victory and glory yeah. always and always yeah. through yeah. whatever it is that you're you're putting me through i understand that there is a lesson a blessing in Absolutely. all of it yes. and i will um let no my way. testimony be shared for mm. everyone to see in a way that is out of love and respect oh, yeah. and honor yes. of who you are in my life and um that you just continue to um, cover yeah. my my business and yes. my everything opportunities and everything that you have in store for the month of August. Like yes, August God. is going to be a transformer, oh my God. abundant, oh, Jesus sexy, God. free Hallelujah. month full of just money and riches and mm. ooh, I can feel it. Like, I thank feel you so too. much for the increase. Thank you for the upgrades. Yes. I knew they were in order and they're yes. 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 Thank, thank you for the you downloads so much for the upgrades. Downloads for upgrades. Amen. Anything y'all want to add? Oh, that was good, Reed. Well, I just want to say thank you so much, God. We serve you with our mind, body, heart, and spirit, and yeah. soul. Yeah. And we serve the King of Kings that rules above and below yes. with love. Yes. So we thank you for blessing us with a key to this kingdom, mm. a passport to this paradise, mm -hmm. and a ticket to this total transformation. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' Amen. name we pray. Amen. 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 It's 7 p.m. It Friday. is so <laughs> on purpose. It's in the morning. It's not crazy. It's actually on purpose. It's Period. not crazy if it's on <laughs> purpose. Oh, I love y'all for real. No, that was good. Thank yes, you guys. That was good. I needed that. Yeah. Just wash my face. I'm all crusty, cleaned out. We're done. We're on the road. I think I'm gonna stop and get some coffee. Hot coffee. It's a little chilly this morning, and um, we're gonna be unloading. As unloading as much as I can. My new place is a new build. Um, and when I went to go pick out my unit, contractors are still there. I'm hoping they're still working on some units because I'm going to ask them to help me bring in some stuff. At least my baby stuff. Ooh, got to moisturize my face. This is it. I've got stuff to carry so I can't take y'all downstairs. So, see you in the car.
one last box, sure. Some things in my way, though. So listen. Let me give y'all a view of this. I cannot drive crazy. I shouldn't be driving crazy anyways, but y'all, y'all sitting up on clothes and let me make sure I got all my essentials first, glasses, hot sauce, because that is so necessary. Oh, y'all, what we going to eat? That's all I'm ready to have. You feel what I'm saying? What are we going to eat? Um, I I don't know if I have attachment issues, but I definitely get like find myself getting emotional. Emotional. Um, my bra broke. Like, what's that all about? Hello. Oh, look. Let me give y'all a, a view. Um. Like leaving spaces, certain spaces, um, and like having a heart, like like for instance, like high school, you know, like it's all emotional, and you you're with these people for four years, your life is about to change, you know, like that type of thing. Even one of my other roommates, like she moved out a couple of days before, and you know, she was like, you know, just putting her last little things and like driving away and it was just like something like a little flutter in my heart um just like you know I don't know because I don't know her from a can of paint I think maybe change like does that to me but um I did I don't I didn't feel that I didn't feel that at all like just leaving the room final touches and things like that i i just felt i i don't feel um there's nothing there's no emotion attached to it and there never really was you know um i i knew i knew this was temporary and um we were talking last night um my roommate and i and her friend and you know she was just saying like how i didn't get out much and which, like, it's a true statement. And I thought about it, and I was like, you know, when I have a goal, I have to get that done first. I have to get that done. It was never, and I mean never, it was never my my plan to um, have this type of situation. Like, never, 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 never. I want to oil up, but I'm about to be sweating and nasty and gross. This is actually all my stuff right here. Um, and, you know, delayed doesn't mean never. Delayed doesn't mean denied. Just means, you know, not right now. Delayed, that's what that means. Literally. And so I have this goal. I have this goal and I know there's something to it, but I, I cannot, this is like, I'm, I'm not in an uncomfortable position. I'm not in the position that I want to be. And so with that, I can't really have fun and go out and, you know, explore and do the things because I'm just not in the predicament that I wanted. And now that that's finally here, I'm like, whoa. Warm up the car a little bit. like what's my new reality my new reality in this 
very big city by myself and I just need a week to do nothing because from here it's just like tunnel vision it's it's fun it's work it's hustle it's gigs it's events it's like it's up but I, I need I need space to just be like this is something big that you've accomplished. Celebrate. Take your time. Don't keep just rushing into something. I did one big thing. I don't want to keep going into Like, you know, I, I need that space to just... And then I can jump into the next. I'm going to give you... Packed. Fortunately, I can see out my rear views. Fortunately. When I say pack to the brand, trunk, my little Chevy. Talk about an emotional attachment. Ah! This car, okay, I'm about to go find me some um, coffee. Some hot coffee and just like sit and unwind. I've got eh, roughly an hour. Um, but face has been acting crazy Ooh. all right let's find some coffee okay so i can finally tell y'all about this place i completely forgot i was like oh i want to get some hot coffee um um but i don't want like a chain you know starbucks and duncan are easy to come by i'm a little nervous though i'm a i wanted to like go in and, and sit for a bit I think my car is so heavy, my, one of my wheels is like, yeah. I'm gonna have to put a little, little air in there. But, um, okay, this is gonna sound really, really bad, but, well, they don't care, they don't care. I was gonna say, like, my car kinda looks like, just like a junk car, you know? Like, but I got I got it. I can't. I was gonna go in and like sit down for a bit, but I can't. My nerves is too bad. Okay, so this place is called Jurassic Magic. It's so it was so close to me. Um so you know safety. The little doggy. Oh he has something on his little head. <laughs> um let me show y'all the vibes. It's just like surrounded by mirrors. It's just a little hallway. And then you just have kind of like this like gift shop. And it is just the cutest thing. Um, artwork. And then it's somebody, people are over there, so it's like their privacy. But there's like this outside seating area. It's just really cute in there. And I love it. I really love it.
and it's called it's literally called convi convi like convenience but just really short for it um so the the coffee shop was there and then they just like expanded out which is amazing I'm just make sure i don't see any glass on the ground okay i think we're good um i got a flat white cinnamon and vanilla hot and i'm so happy they serve it with the lids off first um so you can see the design all right we're headed out that took long enough where you know I don't really need to sit. We can go. <laughs> I'm leaving Mid City. That's where Jurassic Magic is. I don't know if I got any clips of the um, cafe. So a lot of things around here are drivable. Mm, that's good. I need actual food, but this is good. I would like it a little hotter, but just my preference extra hot all the time um how to pray nothing falls um i absolutely recommend <clears throat> living oh a lot of things are drivable so like this was like four minutes and like you know five minutes ten minutes but i wanted to, i like walking one because i can keep my parking and um two is you know it's a sunny city a nice city um get your steps in enjoy the scenery and there wasn't a lot where i was there wasn't just a lot of walkable things um we had one um cafe called palm grove that was a bit walkable um but it was very like like just you know cafe food blah 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 um pastries <clears throat> but then around july 4th I had just, I was like, because I'm always searching, like, what's what's food in the area? Maybe I can walk to, I'll extend, you know, I'm thinking about, like, a five-minute walk. And I was like, okay, maybe I'll, like, make a, you know, ten-minute walk this time, blah, blah, blah. And so I had put in food, and there was this new cafe that opened. But what makes them different is that they do live music. They, um, do painting classes. They also have wine um beer and then like you know your kombuchas and you know all that stuff and then your regular cafe stuff oh my goodness that place is so good it's such a vibe um the guy worked on it for like seven years that's one thing too about la like they're you're gonna get a view like like you're you know it's it's going to be vibey in there um it's gonna be vibey. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be aesthetic -y. Um, People work really hard on building place, but it's so, it was so perfect for Mid City. Like it's something that <clears throat> I don't know. We need it, and with the live music, it really encapsulated like what Mid City is and what they're trying to be. So um, yeah, I was in Mid City, which I absolutely recommend for anybody to start off with. Um, because it is literally mid city. You're five minutes from Burbank. I'm being dramatic, but 10, 20 minutes from Burbank, the beach, Culver City. Um, you're in this, you're, you're mid, like you're literally center of everything. So things weren't a long drive often. Um, it was great. You hop right on the I think it's a 405 don't quote me on it you hop right on there <clears throat> 20 minutes flat on a good day so mid city i recommend it at least the where i was my area as well <clears throat> i felt safe um people were like you know of course touring the space because she has to fill it and they kept asking like would you walk around at night and i'm like i wouldn't walk around at night anywhere in burbank in Glendale and like nowhere I mean I get I guess I get their sentiments but the answer is always no especially as women you know <clears throat> um but yeah mid city all right 8 15 it's about a 30 minute drive um I'm on an outskirt I don't know if we talked about that we'll talk about that I'm on I'm literally I'm on an outskirt but it's it's hard to explain we'll talk though but Let's get on the road.
Oh, I forgot I was recording. <laughs>